Good evening and welcome to Jefferson Community College's 56th Spring Commencement. Jefferson alumna Jessica Jones, class of 2005, will perform the National Anthem, followed by college chaplain Sister Juliana Raymond with the invocation. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rock is red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the I now declare the spring 2020 Jefferson Community College commencement open. Good evening. As March days awakened us to sunshine, showers, snowflakes again, and spring semester's midpoint, we were about to be awakened to our own resilience and response. Tonight's invocation is offered as my prayer for the trailblazers. Classroom doors now shut, open new ways of disseminating course content. Technology challenged. Its use was explained and encouraged by colleagues and friends. Campus became off limit as hands and hearts opened. Trailblazing requires careful calculations and common sense. Soon to be JCC graduates, your presence at this commencement means you stayed the course and reached completion. I invoke God's abundant blessings on each of you and on all who've been your guides. Amen. Thank you, Jessica Jones, Chaplain Raymond, and Faculty Marshal Jack Donato. Again, welcome to our 56th spring commencement. A virtual ceremony is certainly not the commencement that everyone imagined we, when we began the spring semester in January. While I had planned to shake each of your hands as you walked proudly across the stage, this unprecedented time in our history has forced the college to recognize your achievements in a different way. What I hope now is that you do not let the extraordinary events of this past semester diminish the sense of pride and satisfaction you should feel upon completing your college degree. Despite all that is going on in our country and around the world, it is important to recognize and celebrate what you have achieved right here, right now, in this very moment. Therefore, on behalf of the faculty and the entire campus community, I extend hearty congratulations to the students who are to be awarded degrees and certificates this evening. A very special welcome to parents, spouses, families, and friends of our candidates for graduation all watching online this evening. It is appropriate that we recognize the important role family and friends play in the achievement we are honoring this evening. Parents, spouses, children, neighbors, and friends 
have encouraged and supported you along the way. While you may not be celebrating with them together this evening, I hope you will take a few moments to thank those who have helped you achieve your educational goals. A phone call, a note card, or even a Google Meet will go a long way in showing your appreciation to those who have played a role in your journey. At this time, I wish to introduce the Jefferson Community College Board of Trustees. Nathan Hunter, Chair, Judy Gintner, Vice Chair, Rebecca Widrick, Student Trustee, Pamela Bior Murtha, Michael Crowley, Elizabeth Phipps, Terry Fralick, David Mayles, and Eugene Renzi. Jefferson Community College is very fortunate to have, to have a dedicated and talented Board of Trustees. Our board members give endless hours of support and leadership to the college. I also wish to introduce Chair Scott Gray and Vice Chair William Johnson and the Jefferson County Board of Legislators. Jefferson County is the local sponsor for this college and we are appreciative of their strong support. Jefferson Community College now has over 23,500 alumni who live and work in communities all across America, as well as locations abroad. Tonight, we will celebrate the 314 students who are expected to complete their degree or certificate program this spring and summer. Each year, the State University of New York recognizes students who successfully integrate academic excellence with other aspects of their lives, including community service, creative and performing arts, athletics, entrepreneurship, leadership, or career achievement. This year, Rebecca Widrick and Sarah Wilder were chosen for the SUNY Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence, and we are very pleased to recognize them this evening for their outstanding accomplishments. Rebecca Widrick is an outstanding student scholar and model for academic excellence at Jefferson. She has earned President's List recognition and is a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Rebecca has enhanced her academic experience by participating in the National Society for Leadership and Success and taking honors program coursework. Active in student govern government, Rebecca was elected to represent her peers as the student representative on the college's board of trustees and serves as a member of the president's advisory council. Additionally, she is treasurer of the business hospitality and tourism club, vice president of the art club, serves as a volunteer for the North Country Heart Walk and is the reigning Miss Irish Princess for Jefferson County. Rebecca is currently pursuing her associate's degree in accounting with plans to graduate from Jefferson in December. Sarah Wilder truly exemplifies a well-rounded student scholar. A model of academic excellence, she has earned President's List recognition every semester and is a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Sarah has enhanced her academic experience by taking honors program coursework and participating in the National Society for Leadership and Success. A business administration major, Sarah has clearly demonstrated her desire to maximize her collegiate experience by spending the fall semester studying abroad in Portugal and studying the effects of climate change on grapes used in winemaking. Sarah has immersed herself in many co-curricular activities often taking a leadership role. She is vice president of the Business Hospitality and Tourism Club and was integral to planning the annual business and leadership symposium. She is a member of the Cannoneers golf team, serves on the athletic board of control and volunteers with the North Country Heart Walk. Sarah plans to continue her studies with SUNY Potsdam completing her bachelor's degree in business administration through the Jefferson Higher Education Center. Congratulations, Rebecca and Sarah. 
Also, two Jefferson Community College students were named to the All New York Academic Team, sponsored by the American Association of Community Colleges and Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society for two-year colleges. To be chosen for the All New York Academic Team, students must hold a minimum grade point average of 3.25 and demonstrate scholarly achievement, leadership skills, and community service involvement. Kara Aguirre and Rebecca Widrick, congratulations on your All New York Academic Team achievement. At this time, I would like to recognize five candidates for graduation who were enrolled in the Honors Program. Honors Program students demonstrate commitment to academic excellence through the pursuit of study in Honors courses and in-class Honors projects. Kara Aguirre, Marcelino Avalar, Brooke Mahone, Madison Socha, and Sarah Wilder, congratulations on your outstanding achievements. Tonight, we are also recognizing those students who are members of the Tau Xi chapter of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. These students have distinguished themselves through achieving a grade point average between 3.5 and 4.0. Their scholarly excellence is symbolized by the gold honor stole they wear with their cap and gown. Congratulations to Phi Theta Kappa members of the class of 2020. In addition to the exceptional relationship this college enjoys with area schools and the community we serve, Jefferson Community College has a very special relationship with Fort Drum and the 10th Mountain Division. Fort Drum soldiers and family members are an integral part of this college community. Among our spring and summer graduates are nine active duty and 24 veteran students who completed their degree requirements. Those students are distinguished by wearing red, white, and blue cords that signify their military service. For your contributions to this nation and to the quality of life for this college, we thank you. Every year, the State University of New York recognizes outstanding members of the professional staff across the entire 64 campus university system with prestigious Chancellor's Awards for Excellence. Over the years, a total of 108 awards for excellence have been bestowed on JCC faculty and staff. We are pleased tonight to be able to recognize five members of our campus community for receiving Chancellor's Awards. Bruce Alexander, Excellence in Professional Service, Dr. Venkat Chibolu, Excellence in Teaching, Susan Hughes, Excellence in Classified Service, Dr. Ilka Lute, Excellence in Adjunct Teaching, Dawn Robinson, Excellence in Faculty Service. Congratulations to each of our Chancellor's Awards recipients for their achievements outstanding records of excellence, and their commitment to higher education. At this time, Vice President Tom Finch will introduce our student speaker. Good evening. This is a very special night for the graduates. Congratulations to all members of the class of 2020 for achieving your goal of a college education. Good luck in your future academic endeavors and your career. You've earned the right to be proud of your achievement. 
Each year, I have the distinguished honor to introduce tonight's student speaker from the class of 2020. Your speaker this evening is originally from Joplin, Missouri, and currently resides in nearby Sackets Harbor. While serving in the military, he deployed to Afghanistan, was stationed in Germany, and performed missions in Poland. He will be completing his degree and graduating with an Associate of Science in Individual Studies and plans to transfer to SUNY Oswego this coming fall to pursue a bachelor's degree. A familiar face from campus, your speaker served as the Vice President of Student Government and worked with his peers in the Veterans Services Office. Having earned a perfect 4.0 GPA, he has been named to the President's List while attending Jeff Jefferson and is a member of the college's Tau Zay chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, International Honor Society, and the National Society of Leadership and Success. Additionally, he represented Jefferson at the annual SUNY Student Assembly meeting held in Albany, New York. Your speaker is respectable toward faculty, staff, and his fellow students and held in high regard by his peers. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce your student commencement speaker, Jonathan A. Brown. Members of the stage party, President Stone, faculty, friends, family, and the class of 2020, you are nothing but a failure. These were the words I heard as a child growing up in the rural part of Southern Missouri. As a child, these words cut deep. And even now, as I stand here, I still feel a slight pain in my chest. It was ironic because they homeschooled me, hindering my education until I started public school in the sixth grade. Needless to say, I did not grow up with a strong support network. All of this gave me my why. Because once we know why we are doing something, it's not for nothing. Regardless of what our task is. To quote Viktor Frankl, those who have a why to live can bear with almost any how. For me, this why was because I didn't want to fail, because I was too lazy, apathetic, or unambitious. None of us here have had the same exact experience in life. Some of us have had a hard life, losing a loved one, failing when we're at our absolute worst, or still struggling in school with no matter how much time we put into it. We can define ourselves in life with how, in times of stress and anguish, we can handle the difficult challenges that lay at before us. All of these decisions that we have made in our past have led us to this point. And now we must ask ourselves why it matters to us. As an adult, I found myself in the army where I would deploy to go fight in Afghanistan. During this time, I would see some truly amazing things and some things that weren't. Later in life, I would have the opportunity to travel the world. And that's exactly what I did. Throughout my travels, I've been lost on a cold winter night in Kiev, trying to figure out how to read Cyrillic. I've had my passport taken by a Russian or a Russian guard on the Transnistian border on a cool, foggy morning. And I've been cornered by a group of men looking for a fight. In each of these situations, a random stranger helped me. A young lady in the Kiev underground. A random passenger on my bus who spoke English and agreed to help me. And a random stranger who approached the group and explained that they were confusing me with someone else. And yet I was still terrified when I started classes at Jefferson Community College because I didn't think I would be able to finish it. But just like then, help will always come in different forms. We face challenging times ahead. When we face challenging times, we learn a lot about ourselves. For anyone who's ever gone on a difficult hike, I'm sure this will sound familiar. At some point in life, all we can do is look down and take our next step forward. And at others, this time, the step may be backwards. 
we are going to fail. There is no way around this fact of life. In the last few semesters, each and every one of us have made a choice to pursue a degree. A degree that may be used to get us into a job that is waiting for us after this. A degree that is acting as a stepping stone to another degree. Or a degree that we've wanted since we were a child, so we could be the first college graduate in our family. In our quest to obtain these degrees, we've all spent thousands of dollars to get us to this point. We have spent long nights trying to get ready for the test that we have tomorrow. We have spent it meeting new people who challenged our way of thinking. All of this is preparing us to handle whatever lies ahead of us. Regardless of what our next step will be, large or small, we'll be better equipped to handle it after graduating from Jefferson. Not because we learned what a bleed was or how to do a science experiment that made us question how easy it would be to get into the drug trade, or realizing how a multi-level marketing company may in fact be a pyramid scheme. But because we know at the end of our hike, there is a beautiful view waiting for us, that all of that hard work we just did was for something that mattered to us, something that not everyone can do. Not all of us here will face a difficult road ahead. Some of us will set off with our path already set. Some of us are making to look an impact in our own world, wherever that is. And some of us are just happy that we we're able to get to this point. We all have a reason to be proud today, regardless of how easy or hard this was for us. Because whatever is next for us, is now one step closer than it was. And that is something to be proud of. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. What a wonderful representative you are of the graduating class. And we are so proud of your hard work and many accomplishments. Tonight, I have the distinct privilege of sharing some remarks with you, the class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates of the class of 2020. Making this accomplishment even more gratifying for you is to have finished your education in one of the most unprecedented times in our world history. In the midst of change, ambiguity, and adversity, you still finished. Now think back to all those times along the way where doubt showed up. Either someone told you or you believed it yourself that you were not college material. And I say, look at you now. You all are college material. And you prove that not only to your professors, to your family and friends, but you also proved it to yourself. What you did again, in an environment that was very different than when you started, in an environment where you were unsure, you still kept going. You demonstrated the drive, the leadership, the unwavering strength you never realized you had, and you finished. And I applaud you. But graduates, this is not the finish line. No, this is just the beginning. It is the beginning of a wonderful journey that each and every one of you has the opportunity to map for your individual lives. It is the beginning of the next step of your educational experience, of your career, and of your personal and professional development. This is where it starts, not ends. You have before you the opportunity to go out and show the world what you believe and who you are. In order to really know what you believe, to really test what you think you know, you have to explore the people and places around you. Be open to different things, different cultures, different people, 
different food, different experiences. It is only through that exploration that you gain a breadth of knowledge to shape, evaluate, and create what you truly believe. Resist the urge to stay static. That defeats the purpose of all your hard work. The true power of education comes through the transformation that it stirs up inside you. Continue that process throughout your life. Your beliefs can always be tested and may sometimes be changed, and that's okay. Change is good and will be necessary now even more than ever. It will be an important part of how you, our new leaders, will bring us forward. In doing so, you must be open to change and to hearing a wide range of ideas and opinions as we rebuild our economy after this pandemic and as we reimagine our future. Now, these changes don't mean that you relax your values. I believe your values are the who of you. And while they may evolve over time, they must be the foundation upon which the rest of your life is built. You need to know very clearly what you will stand for and what you will not. In our lives, there are so many things that make us who we are. Certainly our childhood experiences are a factor, but there are other factors as well. What factors make you who you are? Which way does your gut your internal compass guides you. As you work to find and calibrate your true north, which is the essence of who you are at your core, I'd like to offer some key points to help in that process. Number one, vow to learn something in every experience you have, good or bad. There's always a lesson in those experiences whether it was what you've done right or wrong, there's always much to learn. Number two, never miss an opportunity to learn something new. There's absolutely no risk of knowing everything. So keep finding ways to learn more, to build more upon what you already know and to continue to challenge yourself. Number three, Find friends from all different ages, races, religious beliefs. Understand and appreciate the differences. They challenge your own thinking and that's where your own beliefs are built, validated, or maybe even challenged. And number four, dare to be different, innovative, or just plain you. Work proudly and confidently in the individuality of you. I believe each of you has the gift to enhance our future, and we will need these gifts in the coming years. Please share them often and openly. In conclusion, I just want to thank you for the opportunity to address you all this evening. It is an honor to serve as this college's president and to watch you thrive. I remember meeting several of you when you first arrived to campus, frightened, nervous, unsure. And again, I say, look at you now. You all made it and I celebrate you. I just wanna say one more thing as a mom. I didn't go the traditional route of going to college as a young person. I didn't get my first degree until I was 38 years old. I failed and failed and failed again. But through all of those trials, I was preparing for something I didn't know I'd ever achieve. I was preparing unbeknownst to me to be here today. I didn't know where my stubborn unwillingness to fail would lead me, but I never gave up. I kept pushing towards something, even though I had no clue that something would bring me to this place today. And now I am in the position to do something so incredibly special. So along with now officiating commencements for more than 1500 graduates, 
since I've been here at Jefferson Community College. My son is also a member of this graduating class of 2020. That makes all of the failures, all of the mistakes, all of the trials worth it. I am incredibly fortunate to be able to do this for him and for all of you. Congratulations again, class of 2020. Remember that we are depending on you, our next generation, our best generation. Go forth and be successful in whatever way you define your own individual success. Thank you. We are now coming to the moment that you have all been waiting for. This evening, the members of the class of 2020 become the newest members of the Jefferson Community College alumni. We sincerely hope that tonight doesn't mark the end of your relationship with Jefferson, but that you will continue to feel like a member of this college community. Once again, I would like to extend my own personal congratulations to all of you. It is indeed a privilege and honor to serve as this college's president and to work with students, faculty, and staff to help you achieve your goals. Commencement is the best time of the year at Jefferson Community College. Tonight, you are brimming with pride over having achieved your goals. Your families and friends are equally as proud. Not only is this the best day of the year for you, but it is also the best day of the year for all who work at the college. Your success is why we do what we do. The college awards three types of degrees to those who have successfully completed two-year programs of study. Associate in Applied Science, Associate in Science, and Associate in Arts. Certificates are awarded to those who have successfully completed one-year programs. Chair Hunter, these members of the class of 2020 are identified as candidates for commencement and are recommended to the Board of Trustees for the appropriate certificates and degrees. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, it gives me great pleasure to award to you certificates in the degrees of Associates in Applied Science, Associates in Arts, and Associates in Science, with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. At this time, Jefferson's Associate Vice Presidents will announce candidates for graduation from each of the three academic divisions. Geraldine Fairman, Liberal Arts Division. Linda Dietrich, Math, Science, Health and Technology Division. Terrence Harris, Workforce Development and Business Division. I am pleased to present the following candidates for certificates and degrees in childhood education, chemical dependency, criminal justice, early childhood, fire protection technology, humanities and social sciences, human services, individual studies, physical education, and teaching assistant. Jessica Riley, Certificate Early Childhood. Nicole Marie Turner, AAS Chemical Dependency. Elizabeth A. Smith, AAS, Early Childhood. Jack Daniel Lake, AAS, Fire Protection Technology. Nayano Olalade Abisogan, AAS, Individual Studies. Teresa Kelly Bates, AAS Individual Studies. Ryan Michael Carter Gallo, AAS Individual Studies. Christy Marie Vance, AAS Individual Studies. Randy Lynn 
Davis, AA, Childhood Education. Brielle Patricia Faircloth, AA, Childhood Education. Brianna Hall, AA, Childhood Education. Kayla Marie Sai, AA, Childhood Education. Mackenzie E. Dockstater, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences. Grace Elizabeth Gerke, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences. Hunter Hall, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences. Joshua David Hunt, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences. Patrick James Colmo, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences. Jacob Liam Maloney, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences. Kelsey Michael McIntyre, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences. Crystal D. Moran, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences. Sonne Elise Ortiz, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences. Megan Lynn Payne, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences. Natalie Renee Scheidrich, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences. Nelson M. Stone III, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences. Scott Taylor Matthews, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences, Creative Writing. Sarah Marie Ellen Ellis Folsom, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences, Psychology. Storm Alex Alexis Turk, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences, Psychology. Michelena Jane Weishu, AA, Humanities and Social Sciences, Psychology. Madison Shamus, AA, Individual Studies. Lindsay M. Bradley, AS, Criminal Justice. Carlesia Clarice Grant, AS, Criminal Justice. Sydney G. Hunter, AS, Criminal Justice. Grace Ann Knapp, AS, Criminal Justice. Lejean Philip Lewis, AS, Criminal Justice. Indy Stone Martin, AS, Criminal Justice. Kristen Nicole Prashard, AS, Criminal Justice. Carl Montgomery Seaburns, AS, Criminal Justice. Skylar D. Trumbull, AS, Criminal Justice. Janaya Lachey Wiley, AS, Criminal Justice. Amanda Marie Crowfoot, AS, Early Childhood. Anthony Michael DeMarco, AS, Early Childhood. Taylor Leanne Johnson, AS, Early Childhood. 
Abigail Marie LaPlantney, AS, Early Childhood. Jessica Riley, AS, Early Childhood. Brianna Caden Amory Sibley, AS, Early Childhood. Kayla Sutton, AS, Early Childhood. Katie Louise Augustine, AS, Human Services. Morgan Eggleston, AS, Human Services. Caitlin Ann Sherrier Grove Rose, AS, Human Services. Carla Louise Hoistian, AS, Human Services. Sierra Jordan LeClaire, AS, Human Services. Samantha May Lawrence, AS Human Services. Kiera L. Morja Horning, AS Human Services. Lauren R. Nichols, AS Human Services. Tanya M. Pugh, AS Human Services. Nicole Marie Turner, AS Human Services. Kylie Rayan Wood, AS Human Services. Cassie Louise Ziegler, AS Human Services. Jenna Ray Amo. AS Individual Studies. Marcelino Avalar, AS Individual Studies. Jonathan Andrew Brown, AS Individual Studies. Robert Sean Ray Elliott Jr., AS Individual Studies. Jacob Mark Heller, AS Individual Studies. Natalia Ososkalo, AS Individual Studies. Corrine Marie Patterson, AS Physical Education. I am pleased to present the following candidates for certificates and degrees in agribusiness, computer information technology, computer information systems, computer science, energy technology, engineering science, hospitality and tourism, mathematics, mathematics and science, nursing, wine management and marketing, and zoo technology. Nicholas O. Perkins, AAS Computer Information Technology. Crystal L. Johnson, AAS Hospitality and Tourism, Culinary Arts. Madison Michelle Socia, AAS Hospitality and Tourism, Culinary Arts. Seth Daniel Botcher, AAS, Hospitality and Tourism, Hotel and Restaurant Management. Bailey Elizabeth Bolton, AAS, Nursing. Natalie Alexis Cole, AAS, Nursing. Alexandria Ryan Crawford, AAS Nursing. 
Brandy Jean Crutchfield, AAS Nursing. Marcos Cruz, AAS Nursing. Misha Leah Deka, AAS Nursing. Paige Elaine DeRocher, AAS Nursing. Lauren Ann Eddy, AAS Nursing. Jessica Graham, AAS Nursing. Margaret P. Hallinan, AAS Nursing. Sabrina Rochelle Honey, AAS Nursing. Katrina Marie Johnson, AAS Nursing. Jessica Lee McGimsey, AAS Nursing. Mia Rochelle Morja, AAS Nursing. Celeste Dunkia Pabong, AAS Nursing. Larissa Jean Parsons, AAS Nursing. Jana M. Perry, AAS Nursing. Kayla Marie Stockman, AAS Nursing. Grace Lynn Walker, AAS Nursing. Megan Marie Wilson, AAS Nursing. Heather Beth Gage, AAS Zoo Technology. Haley Ann Gamble, AAS Zoo Technology. Sean Christopher Fontaine, AS Allied Health and Biological Sciences, Natural Sciences. Kyle Roberts Nichols, AS, Allied Health and Biological Sciences, Natural Sciences. Nicholas Carl Tolson Siri, AS, Allied Health and Biological Sciences, Natural Sciences. Jefferson Edward Brown, AS, Computer Science. Noah Stephen Newton, AS, Computer Science. Antonio S. Wilson, AS Computer Science. Logan Garrett Christopher, AS Engineering Science. Jamie Lee Shakara Palmer, AS Mathematics and Science, Allied Health. Brooke Electa Mahone, AS, Mathematics and Science, Allied Health and Biological Sciences. Alexandra Montgomery Woodruff, AS, Mathematics and Science, Allied Health and Biological Sciences. I am pleased to present the following candidates for certificates and degrees in accounting, business administration, office studies, Office Technologies, and Sports Management. Ashley Ann Slate, AAS Accounting. Erin Mackenzie Jones, AAS Business Administration. Kimberly Lynn Call, 
AAS Office Technologies Administrative Assistant. Chelsea Nicole Koss, AAS Office Technologies Administrative Assistant. Alice Nicole Harris, AAS Office Technologies Medical. Tiffany Lehan Varen, AAS Office Technologies Medical. Amanda Lynn Denslow, AS Accounting. J. Walter Holland, AS Accounting. Cara Aguirre, AS Business Administration. Erica Jean Dixon, AS Business Administration. Noreline Receipt, AS Business Administration. Emily M. Rogers, AS Business Administration. Sarah Marie Wilder, AS Business Administration. Joseph Andrew Wargo, AS Sports Management. On behalf of my fellow trustees, I want to extend our sincere congratulations to each of you. We are proud of your accomplishments and share in the joy you are feeling tonight. As you begin the next chapter of your lives, we wish you well and sincerely hope your connection to Jefferson remains strong. Sincere congratulations to each of you. You have now become the Jefferson Community College alumni of 2020. The college takes great pride in our alumni and we look forward to sharing in your future achievements. Tonight, we also recognize the success of eight students who have completed master's degrees with SUNY Potsdam through their institution's partnership with the Jefferson Higher Education Center. Many, if not most of the students who complete bachelor's degrees and master's degrees through the Higher Education Center have also previously graduated from Jefferson Community College. Will Jefferson's Associate Vice President, Terrence Harris, please announce the candidates from SUNY Potsdam. I am pleased to present the following candidates for the Master of Science in Teaching and the Master of Education in Literacy Specialist from SUNY Potsdam. Cassandra B. Story, Childhood Education, MST. Megan Hill, Literacy Specialist, MSED. Another congratulations to all of you. Graduates, if you are watching in your cap and gown, please stand. Now, you may move your tassels to the left side to signify receiving your degree. Congratulations. Quite appropriately, the major focus of this evening's celebration is on you, the graduates of the class of 2020. It takes a team effort, however, to create your educational experience. Working in partnership with you, both within and outside of the classroom, were this college's faculty and staff. For the learning and respect nurtured within each classroom, for the support services and extracurricular activities delivered so professionally by staff members, and for the well-maintained facilities and beautiful grounds, all of us are truly indebted. However, as we know, you are the focus of this celebration and our faculty and staff have a message to share with you all.
You've worked so hard. You've accomplished so much. Tough times make tough people. You have such a bright future. We're proud of you. From the whole social science department, congratulations. 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 From your ed planners. Career, Career services. services. Veterans, Veterans services. We want to say congratulations, congratulations to, the to the class of 2020. 2020. Woo! Yay! <laughs> congratulations, Zoo Technology Narwhals. Thank you for all your hard work. It's been a pleasure working with you. We wish you the best. Please stay in touch. Hello, this is Margaret Taylor from the Office of Student Activities. Congratulations, you did it. You set the goal and you achieved it. Now ask yourself, what's next? Congratulations! From the Enrollment Services Office. Graduates, this is Professor Denning. For all of your hard work and commitments, for the pride you must be feeling today, this is a time to celebrate you and all of your accomplishments. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. What a year you've had. You have truly shown what you're capable of achieving during the hardest of times. You have persevered and come out on top, earning your degree. The entire athletic department wishes you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Go Cannoneers. I'm Dawn Robinson, Department Chair for Business Studies. Welcome, Class of 2020 graduates. The Business Department has a few words of wisdom for you. Hi, graduates. I'm Catherine Brownell, Associate Professor of Business. Well, this is a first. You can add this to your resume and use it in your first permanent job interview. You are part of the first virtual Spring 2020 commencement at Jefferson. We know it's not the same as walking across the stage with your family and friends cheering you on, but we're cheering you on. We care about your long nights of studying and your significant achievement. So here goes, congratulations. Hello everyone, this is uh, Professor Covell. This is not what we envision as a graduation in September. Uh, the pandemic has stepped in, but remember that you have one thing that other people do not, and that's a JCC business degree. Use your business degree and you'll be successful against the pandemic. I wish you the best. Hi, I'm Sherry Ditch. As your Associate Professor in Business, I'm especially honored this year to congratulate you on your accomplishments in this world of uncertainty and pandemic. In the future, continue to work hard, be humble, and never forget, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Please never give up. Hi, I'm Dawn Robinson again, and I want to welcome you. And I want to say that I know this isn't exactly what you planned, but I have to say this is still one of my favorite days on campus. It's a day that we celebrate your achievements and welcome you to a distinct group of individuals. Welcome to JCC alumni. Hi grads, this is Mrs. Wilder, Assistant Professor of Business. And I'd like to quote a famous film, Finding Nemo. You have all officially made it through the ring of fire. You are now officially grads. And especially with this COVID-19 pandemic, you have done something that no one else has ever done in our past. And hopefully we will never encounter it again in our future. So what I have to say is welcome. You are now officially one of us. Just keep swimming. And now for our final salute, we wish you the best. <laughs> Congratulations, Jefferson Class of 2020. 
all that hard work's finally paid off and here you are. This is your day. Enjoy it. Keep in touch. We love to hear how you're doing. Congratulations, graduates. Just remember what I always said in class. Your degree is your ticket to the world. Congratulations and rock on from Doc. Hey, JCC class of 2020. Thank you so much for bringing your kindness, your patience, and your sense of humor into my classroom during this really challenging semester. I'm so proud of you. Now we are honored to share messages from Senator Charles Schumer and Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. Hello to Jefferson Community College. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and it's my honor to address the faculty and staff, the families and friends of the graduates, and most of all, you, the class of 2020. Now, I'm really sorry I can't join you in person, as I do almost every year but I'm grateful that modern technology allows us to still be connected on this very special day. As we all know, these are really difficult times, perhaps more difficult than most of us have ever experienced. There are two aspects to this pandemic that make things all the more challenging. The first is our uncertainty. This virus is brand new and our lack of knowledge about it. How do we get the virus? How is it spread? How does it affect different people differently? When will we have an effective antiviral medication and vaccine? And most of all, how soon can we get back to normal? And the second aspect that's just as bad is that we have to isolate ourselves. We New Yorkers during times of trouble like to come together and be with each other, share experiences together. After 9-11, I stood with President Bush on the pile. No partisan divisions. We came together as Americans and New Yorkers. After Sandy, I walk the streets and beaches of New York City and Long Island and hug people. But we can't do that now. We have to remain isolated. So the challenges of this moment are truly unique. But so has been our collective response. The fact that we're finding new ways to do things like celebrating this graduation virtually just goes to show you that New Yorkers won't let anything, anything, stop us from honoring what's so important. First, I'd like to say a quick word to the parents. Nothing, nothing will take away your decades of hard work raising your children, for which they and all of us are so very grateful. And while this day may be tempered by worries about the future, at least there's one silver lining. You're not seated in the balcony way in the back. You get to sit next to your son and daughter, give them a hug as they receive their diploma and become an adult before your very eyes. Congratulations to the moms and dads. And one more word of thanks. Today, as we're celebrating right now, there are men and women all across the state and nation who are serving on the front lines, risking their lives in the battle against coronavirus. Doctors, nurses, healthcare workers, pharmacists, ambulance drivers, food workers, police officers, firefighters, and so many more. They are our heroes. And I am working in Congress to create a COVID-19 Heroes Fund, which would provide pandemic premium pay to all essential workers. Let's have a virtual round of applause for them. Now to the class of 2020. I know this may not be what you pictured even a few months ago, but today is still your day. All of your hard work has earned you a degree from a fine institution of higher learning, and nothing can take that away from you. Right now, it may feel like the future is a dark hole, but what has been true throughout history is just as true today. That even in times of difficulty, there are always new opportunities, new ways of thinking, doing things in a better way. So my message for the class of 2020 is simple. It's natural to fear the unknown. But don't let the harshness of this current moment prevent you from seizing opportunities. They're out there. And don't forget, you have incredible assets. A college degree from a great institution, loving families who will have your back through thick and thin. Our society will overcome this pandemic, and so will you. And when the worst is over, we'll need your help to rebuild our country even stronger than it was before. You are our future leaders, and we have faith in you. So to the graduates, I say once again, congratulations, good luck, Godspeed. 
Good morning, it's Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. While I'm not able to be there in person, I wanted to participate in today's graduation day. Today is a culmination of years of effort, dedication, and perseverance. Each of our students have worked incredibly hard to get to this moment, and I wanna thank you for that tremendous work. I also want to take the opportunity to thank your teachers, the entire staff at Jefferson Community College, and your families who supported you in your pursuit of higher education. While this is not a tra traditional graduation day, in some ways we are more united than ever, working to defeat and combat this virus. I know that each and every one of you represent the best and brightest of our next generation of leaders. And again, I wanna congratulate you on today's tremendous achievement. Wasn't that wonderful? Our faculty and staff are so proud that you have completed your college degree as am I. We know the future holds even greater things for each and every one of you. Jessica Jones will join us again to perform Jefferson's alma mater, accompanied by Dr. Lisa Scrivani Tidd, professor of music. Following the alma mater, Chaplain Raymond will offer the benediction. Graduates, in the days and months ahead, there will be many opportunities to reflect on spring 2020. At the core of those reflections, place gratitude. As this wonderful, unique ceremony concludes, the next steps of trail trailblazing begin. I pray that God's blessings, like those March snowflakes, will pleasantly surprise you from time to time. Graduate trailblazers, God bless you. Amen. Thank you all for joining us in our virtual ceremony this evening. I wish you good health, great happiness, and much success. Once again, congratulations, class of 2020.